A small area of 20 feet square contains a large fountain against the eastern wall. Water cascades out of the mouth of a stone skull beautifully carved from a single piece of marble. Only it is not water which pours, it is blood. Rivers of a deep red liquid gush from the wall and slosh around in the fountain base. In front of the fountain stands a large and imposing skeletal lectern. There is no dust in this room and the air is sweet. The party is suddenly surprised by a figure stepping out from next to the fountain. Somehow he had been concealed against the shadows of the wall. His eyes shine with glee as he extends his hands towards the characters. His smile widens, bearing his enlarged fangs. He roars the word FRESH while lunging at the nearest character. This is a vampire. The party will be able to use stakes, holy symbols and holy water gathered elsewhere to ward off the creature to some degree, but only for a limited time. If the creature is able to drink from characters, its strength will grow immensely, forcing them back down the corridor in retreat. The stone door in Area 4 is strong enough to contain the attacker. It should be possible, but very difficult, for them to defeat this enemy. If the ritual of the Blood God is performed with the Book of Blood placed upon the lectern, the fountain slowly slides to the side, revealing a swirling portal of light. This portal will transport the players to the Hidden Valley, a separate adventure to this one. The portal could also be used to neutralize the vampire. The vampire would be very keen to enter the portal, which would close behind him. Copies of this adventure are now available through the website at the dmg.info forward slash store. By making a purchase, you help to support this channel. Prices start from 99 cents. Thank you for your support.